Dear students, greetings of the day. Today we will going to study the second part of hospitality its origin and growth. Downtown Hotel A downtown hotel is located in the center of the city or within a short distance from business center, shopping areas, theaters, public offices etc. The center of the city may not necessarily be the geographical center, but it refers to an area that is considered to be the commercial hub of the city. Room rates The room rates of these hotels are higher than similar hotels in other areas, so as to cover the huge investment made on the land. Clientele They are preferred by businessmen or corporate clientele as they find it convenient to stay closer to the place of their business activities. Example, Hotel Intercontinental, New Delhi and Hotel La Meridian Pune are example of downtown hotel. Suburban Hotels A suburban hotel is located near the outskirts of the city, as the land cost in the city center is higher and the space is limited. Some entrepreneurs build their hotels near the outskirts of the city. Providing similar facilities as the downtown hotel, these hotels are set in suburban areas and have the advantage of quieter and peaceful surroundings. The duration of the stay of guests in these hotels may be longer than at a hotel located in the city. Room Rates The room rates in such hotels are moderate and may attract the budget traveler's clientele, families or those people who prefer to stay away from the hustle and bustle of city. Example, Trident Hotel, Gagahan and Appal's Orchid, New Delhi are example of suburban hotels. Resorts Hotel Hotels that are located at tourist destinations such as islands, exotic locations, hill station, sea beaches and countryside are referred to as resort hotels. These hotels have a very calm and natural ambience with breathtaking beauty and typical scenery. They are mostly away from cities and are located in pollution-free environment. People go to these places for relaxation and enjoyment and to get away from their daily hectic schedule, that is the stay of the guest in resort hotel is long such as week or more. The occupancy in resorts is normally higher during vacation time and weekends when guests want to take a break from their weekly routine. Room Rates The room rates in these hotels may range from moderate to high, depending on the additional service offered. Clientele, holiday makers, travelers, families and patients who have been suggested by the doctors to go to the resort hotel for relaxation. 
facilities slash services offered. These hotels combine stay facilities with recreation, leisure facilities swimming pool, gym, indoor and outdoor game, sightseeing facilities, spa, golf, summer and winter sports, etc. Examples, Taj Fort Aguada Beach Resort, Goa and Wildflower Hall in the Himalayas, Shimla are example of resort hotels. Airport Hotel Airport hotels are situated in the vicinity or near of airport and other ports of entry. Offering all the services of a commercial hotel, these hotels are generally patronized by the passengers who need a stopover and route their journey. Clientele, transit passengers, overnight or short stay guests such as layover or cancelled flight passengers and crew staff are also accommodated in such hotels, service, facilities, exchange rate, airport transverse travel desk, book tickets and updated high schedule, more staff at night shift. Example. Hotel Centaur, Mumbai and Radisson, New Delhi are example of airport hotels. Motel, the word motel is formed by merging two words motor and hotel. They are located primarily on highways and provide modest lodging to highway travelers. The development of extensive road networks in the early 20th century led to the increase in people traveling by their own vehicles. This activity was very much common in Europe and America and travelers whom were traveling by their own vehicles required a clean and safe accommodation for the night as well as garages and refueling facilities for their vehicles. The year 1950 the concept of motels came into existence. Rates, the tariff is very low as compared to city hotels clientele, highway travelers facilities slash services offered, car parking, garage facilities, accommodations, food and drinks, service stations refueling for vehicles. Example, Motel Aram, Kanur, Kerala. Flow hotels, flow hotels as the name suggests are the type of lodging properties that floats on the surface of water, rivers, big lakes and seas are the ideal place for such hotels. They provide luxurious accommodation, along with food and beverage facilities to guests. Examples, cruise ships Po Tells, a houseboat hotel is referred to as a Po Tell. They offer small and luxurious accommodations to travelers in the midst of lakes and waterways. Example, the houseboats of Dull Lake, Shikara, in Sarinagar and Jammu and Kashmir and Kachu Valams of Kerala are some examples of Bo 8 Tells in India. Oh,
hotels, the hotels which rotate on wheel are called rotels. It is also called motel on wheels. The best example of rotel in India is palace on wheels. It is a luxurious train, fully air conditioned, and well furnished, with attached restaurant and bar. The fare is inclusive of train ticket, food, alcoholic beverages and sightseeing. This train starts Delhi and covers the tourist places of Rajasthan and Uttar Pradesh including Taj Mahal, Agra, and Mathara. Rates, high, other for example are the Deccan Odyssey, Golden Chariot, Maharaja Express, Royal Rajasthan Mohapair Nirvan Express and Fairy Queen. Classification on the basis of clientele, hotels cater to the needs of all types of their guest. Every individual or group who stays in the hotel has different set of requirement while some prefer luxury while other wants hotels should match their budget and so on, thus hotels are classified on the basis of their target clientele. On the basis of clientele hotels may be classified as, business or commercial hotels. Transient Hotel, Suite Hotel, Residential Hotel, Bed and Breakfast Hotel, Business or Commercial Hotels, designed specially to cater to the needs of business traveler, commercial hotels are generally situated in the city center. These hotels provide high standard rooms and amenities, along with high speed internet connectivity, business centers, and conference halls. They also provide in-house secretarial services, as well as facilities such as letter drafting, typing, and fax and photocopying of document for the convenience of their guest. The guest amenities at commercial hotels may include complimentary newspapers, morning coffee, cable television and access to channeled music and movies. The duration of guest stay is generally very short at these hotels. The occupancy level is higher during the weekdays e during the working days and slightly lower during weekends. These hotels are also known as downtown hotels.
clientele, corporate or business executives rates, high facilities slash services, business centers, meeting rooms, with modern telecommunication facilities including internet and modern office automation etc. Example, the park and hotel intercontinental in New Delhi are examples of business or commercial hotels. Transient hotels, transient hotels cater to the needs of people who are on the move and need a stopover and route their journey. Located in the close proximity of ports of entry, such as seaport, airport, and major railway station, these hotels are normally patronized by transient travelers. They have round-the-clock operational room service and coffee shop, and all the facilities of a commercial hotels the occupancy rate is usually very high, sometimes more than 100% as room can be sold more than once on a given date. Clientele, business clientele, airline passengers with overnight travel layovers or cancelled flights, and airline personnel. Rates, moderate to high. Example, Hotel Centaur and Radisson in New Delhi are examples of transient hotels in India. Boutique hotels, these are very small and expensive hotels and mainly cater for elite class. They are different from the hotels in that each room has a distinct personality. Though the hotel is small but still it has more number of restaurants. Each restaurant is decorated keeping in view a theme and food served the uniform of the staff, the menu, even the way of welcoming the guest commemorates with the theme. E. G. Shahpura Ba Palace, Shahpura, Rajasthan. Residential Hotels As the name suggests, residential hotels provide accommodation for longer duration. These hotels are generally patronized by people who are on a temporary official deputation to a city where they do not have their own residential accommodation. Guests stay for a minimum period of one month and up to two years. The services offered by these hotels are modest. Sweet hotels, sweet hotels provide the highest level of personalized services to guest. The guest rooms generally comprise a living area, compact kitchenette, complete with refrigerator and a microwave, a bedroom attached with a bathroom, and sometimes even a dance floor. The facilities are highly customized and may include valet services, personalized guest stationery, high-speed internet connection, and in-room safety locker facility. Rates, expansive. Clientele, corporate of big business class, pots person, celebrities basically these hotels are patronized by affluent people and tourists who are found of luxury. Example, Burj Al Arab, 
Dubai and Intercontinental the Lalit Goa resorts are example of all suite hotels. Bed and Breakfast Hotel A European concept, bed and breakfast hotels are lodging establishment generally operated in large family residence. These range from houses with a few rooms converted into overnight facilities to small commercial buildings with 20 to 30 guest rooms. The owner usually lives on the premises and is responsible for serving breakfast to guest. Guest is accommodated in bedrooms and breakfast is served in the rooms or sometimes in the dining room. The bathroom may be attached to the guest rooms or may be on a sharing basis. As the tariff is generally lower than a full-service hotel at these properties, they are suitable for budget travelers. Rates, moderate to low. Clientele, budget travelers. Casino Hotels Casino hotels provide gambling facilities within the premises of the hotel, such as Luxa Hotel and Casio in Las Vegas. These hotels cater to the needs of those guests who comes only for gambling and these hotels attract the clients by promoting gambling, arranging extravagant floor shows, and some may also provide charter flight services to its clients. They have state-of-the-art gambling facilities, along with the specialties restaurants, bars, round-the-clock room services, well-appointed and furnished rooms for its guest. Nowadays, these hotels are also attracting the mice, meetings, incentives, conference and exhibitions, segments. Example, the casinos of Las Vegas, USA, are among the most famous casino in the world. Conference centers, the word conference means a meeting, sometimes lasting for several days, in which people, with a common interest participates in discussions or listen to lecturers to obtain information. Thus, a conference center is a hotel which caters to the needs of a conference delegation. These hotels provide rooms to delegates of conferences, a conference hall with the desired seating configuration for the meeting, food and beverage requirements during and after the conferences and other requirements, such as flip charts, whiteboard with markers, and overhead projector with screen, computer, and public address system. These are large hotels, having more than 400 guest rooms. The services provided are of the highest standards. Normally conferences are charged as packages, which include accommodation and meetings facilities. Example, Hotel Ashok, New Delhi is an example of conference centers. Convention Hotels Convention is defined as a formal assembly or meeting of members, representative, or delegates of a group for general agreement on or acceptance of certain practice or attitudes. This type of meetings involves a large number of participants. The hotels catering to the needs of these segments are known as convention hotels. These hotels may have more than 2,000 rooms to accommodate the large number of delegates. 
They are equipped with state-of-the-art convention center with all the required facilities such as seating configuration, T-shaped, classroom type, workshop style and theater style, audiovisual equipments, and public address system to meet the demand of a convention. Example, Hotel Taj Palace, New Delhi and Hotel JP Palace, Agra are examples of convection hotels in India.